Hey, it's Al Angelo from A Plus Racing. We're finishing up our differential the wrong way to put it together. So here's our pumpkin right here. We've got our 430 gearing in here, type one torsion. We already went through all of this. If, if you didn't get to watch that, you should check that video out. I'll tell you all the mistakes to make and how to do it. And then um, we're gonna put this pumpkin into this housing but there are a couple things that you got to watch for and there's a couple tricks here so i know that you subscribe and so i'm going to go ahead and give you those secrets all right so the first thing i got to do is I've, well i've got it all cleaned up you can see that the, the mating surfaces are all clean of prior silicone or anything like that i've cleaned out all the debris that that was inside of here and so this is all nice and clean the seals are in pretty good shape you can check them by just uh, pushing on them and make sure that they're kind of soft rubber. If you push on there and it feels like, like hard as a rock, then they need to be replaced. And I did another video on that earlier in the year. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've just got some uh, gray, you know, this is ultra gray silicone. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down on here. But when I do, I'm very careful, anytime that I use uh, silicone like this, that I do not um, have it go in the hole, okay? So I want to go around the hole and because I don't want to have any silicone in there and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's just go ahead and put this, get this beaded around here. All right, okay. So I'm going to spread this out. If I was to get silicone down in the hole, and it's a blind hole, and what I mean by a blind hole is a hole that doesn't go all the way through. So you can see that this hole, this bolt hole there, does not go all the way through. And most of these are blind. So matter of fact, they are all blind. I can't see through any of them. So if you get silicone down inside the hole, when you go to tighten the bolt up, it's going to force the silicone to the back of that chamber. And then what's going to happen, it's going to hydrolock, and then it's going to crack the case. And we don't want that. All right. So, and I am making sure that I have silicone all the way around the bolt hole, not just on one side. I may have applied the silicone when I initially put it on, on one side. But when I spread it out like this, I go all the way around that bolt hole. And careful not to push silicone into the hole. Otherwise, you could crack the housing or the case. And that, it just, it's not just differentials, it's anything. Automatic transmissions, engines, any of those, they all, that rule applies to pretty much everything, okay? And then the other trick too I do on this is I don't, uh, I don't get rid of the excess. I, when I, it squishes down, I leave it. I've seen guys, they, they smooth it all out or they take the, peel that thing off and sometimes it creates a leak. Okay, so I got this in there. I've got my bolts ready here. Two of the bolts are special, all right? So this one right here, I believe, and that one right there, okay? So we're gonna keep our eye on those two and that's gonna require these two bolts right here. Okay, so I'm all spread up on there. Here's my ring gear on this side right here. And if I look in here in the housing, I can see the deep pockets on this side. That's where the ring gear goes, okay? So this is gonna go on like this. Okay. All right, bring it over. And sometimes I'll take a Phillips and that'll kind of help me line it up like that. Okay, all right, that looks good. I was looking for my hammer. Okay. All right, so the bolt with the collar, those are the two that have to go on first. one on this side 
and it drops all the way down like that. Okay? So those two have to go down first. Those are what align the differential up. Go ahead and start my other ones. Like that. And then, you know, make sure you make a note on here that you don't have fluid in it. So you don't accidentally throw that thing in and then find out it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't last very long. This one here requires two, two extensions because it goes through that hole. Okay, torque specs is, I think it's 17 to 20, so we're going to go 20. There, okay. And, and it's not going to be much. We'll do that hard one last. There we go. Okay, let's roll it on its back. Double check my work. If you follow the whole series on this differential, I think you should be pretty set on going ahead and doing that, that torsion swap. Okay. We took an open diff 410 and we made a Torsen 430 out of it. So this is ready to install uh, into one of our cars and uh, we should be good to go. All right. I hope you enjoyed the series and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for making the channel the most successful Spec Me Auto channel on YouTube. Couldn't have done it without you. All right. Hey, Al Angelo, I'll see you at the racetrack. Bye now.